when we first talked just a few months ago at Comic Con, this was like you're still kind of new to this. I mean, this yeah. is only four films you've uh, got. I'm still pretty new to this. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. is this your first junket or no? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, how, how are you doing so far? How are you Pretty feeling? good. Okay. <laughs> now, you are working with Shailene. You're working with her. Actually, this is a, twice you've worked with her. Yeah. Uh, what was the difference on this film as opposed to the other film, obviously, besides huge difference. the romance? Yeah, huge difference. You know, um, but I mean, any film you do, uh, I try to always, you know, I look at actors like, um, like Christian Bale and Tom Hardy, people who are able to really transform themselves between each role. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if, I, if I'm doing that, but I, I like to think that every character I really... Um, use different parts of myself and make someone completely new and different. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I've seen Fault in Our Stars and uh, Divergent, and uh, I try to take myself out of it and view it as a, a you know a third person. Um, and it seems like Augustus and Caleb are two very different people. Are you? Do you ever feel like, find yourself like watching and just like, oh, I can't believe I made that decision? Totally. Of course. <laughs> it's it's impossible. I mean, watching Divergent was a little easier for me because you know I'd come on screen for a little while and I'd be like, get off screen, get off screen, and I get off screen. I'd be like, okay, now I can enjoy the movie again. But I'd watch <laughs> Fault in Our Stars and I'd be like, get off screen. I was like, damn, I'm in the next scene too. Like I can't like stop judging myself. So it's tough. Yeah. What was it about this film? I, were you familiar with the book or did you kind of go in? Uh, with the knowledge of the the past, the history of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, well, I read the script, then I read the book. Uh, but of course, before I did the movie, because you have to, you want as much source material as you can get, uh, mm -hmm. and you can then craft the character around that. Um, so uh, I, I went in with as much knowledge about the book as, as, I, as I could. Uh, and uh, hopefully that helped me craft Caleb the most realistic way. If you, if you could, which faction would you join? I'm glad I don't have to choose a faction, because I don't think anyone should have to choose a faction. <laughs> I agree. You know what I mean? There you go. Um, but if I was there, uh, I would try to be focused on survival in this dystopian world, and I would choose Amity, because I feel like Amity would be the easiest place to survive. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Because they're kind, you know, and, and with kindness comes acceptance, and, um, you know, if you change, people change, and... Uh, when you know, if you decide when you're 20 that you don't really fit in there, maybe they'll be more uh, give you a little more slack than if you were at Erudite and you said, "Oh yeah, I don't want to be here anymore." Yeah, that's true. Right? Factionless. <laughs> you know I mean? Now you're working with Neil, who's who's you know acclaimed director. What what did he bring to the table as far as for you your performance and finding the character? I mean, of course, uh, having a director like Neil helps a lot. Yeah. Um, he just it, it's good because he's. You have to focus on so much as a director. You're the captain of the ship, and especially with a big movie, you have so many things to worry about. The costumes, sets, everything. You have to oversee that. And then you have to oversee your actors, and uh, he definitely gave us the time of day, which is important. Mm -hmm. um, but then I, I think we, you know what Neil deserves the most credit with, um, and I was with him last night and I said this to him, is that in this first movie you have to build a world, you have to uh, introduce all these characters, and you have to tell a story at the same time, which is in, really hard to do in a good way that's interesting to people and they make you want to sit there and, for two hours and watch it. Um, and he did it perfectly. Uh, you know, I, I give him so much of the credit uh, in terms of making this a good, what the film it is. Mm -hmm. It's a good film. You know, every performance is good, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The world is, is introduced truthfully and it's uh, never boring. So credit goes to Neil.